Yearly front office services weekly is all about perform mensuration and calculations. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to perform simple calculation and conduct self-evaluation on required performance. Units of Time Conversion Chart The standard unit of time, R, for 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes or 3,600 seconds or 60 times 60. 1 day is equal to 24 hours. 1 week is equal to 7 days. 1 year is equal to 365 days. 1 year is equal to 12 months. 1 year is equal to 52 weeks. These are the units of time conversion table. How many minutes are there in a year? Solution. We know one year is equal to 365 days. And one day is equal to 24 hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So one year is equal to 365 days multiplied by 24 hours multiply by 60 minutes. So, 8,760 8, times 60 minutes. So, it will give us uh, 525,600 minutes. How many hours are there in a year? Solution. We know one year is equal to 365 days. One day is equal to 24 hours. So in a year, 365 days times 24 hours. That will give us 7,860 hours. How many minutes in 6 hours? Solution, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, 6 hours is equal to 6 times 60 minutes will give us 360 minutes. Convert 220 minutes to hours and minutes. Solution, we know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. 220 minutes is equal to 220 divided by 60. It will give us 3 hours and 40 minutes. So, get the remainder as a minute. So, the whole number 3 is your hours and the remainder will be your minutes. Ratios and proportions. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities that have the same units. You can express a ratio in any one of the following ways. So a ratio can be 18 over 5. It can be 18 to the ratio of 5 or 18 to 5. Example 1. If one store has 360 items and another store has 100 of the same items, express the ratio of the items. So, it will give us 360 over 100 or 360 to the ratio of 100 or 360 to 100. Ratio are usually written in lowest item, therefore, the above example 
will reduce in this way. So, 360 and 100 can be divided by 20. So, what is the largest number you can divide per both values? So, we can divide 360 by 20 and uh, one, uh, 100 can be divided by 20 also. So, the, the answer will be 18 over 5 or 18 to 5. For example, number 2. John earns $350 a week. His take-home pay, however, is $295. What is the ratio for his gross pay to his take-home pay? So, we have 350 over 295 or 350 to 295. This 350 and 295 can be divided by 5. So, if you will divide 350 divided by 5, it will give us 70. And one, uh, 295 divided by 5 will give us 59. So, we can reduce it to the lowest term. Can you still divide 70 and uh, 59? Is there any number that can be divided by 70 and 59? If none, then this will be our final answer. 70 over 59 or 70 to 59. Rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units. Rates are usually expressed in the fractional form. Example, Francine paid $16 for her 12-month subscription to Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Express as a rate. So, to express this, it will be $16 over 12 magazines. Okay, what number can be divided to 16 and 12? So, the best number is 4. So, 16 divided by 4 will give us $4. And 12 divided by 4 will give us 3 magazines. If Francine wants to know how much she pay for each magazine, she can divide $4 by 3 magazine, which will give her the price per magazine, uh, also called the unit rate. So, $4 divided by 3 magazine, uh, each magazine cost $1.33 magazine per magazine. Proportion is a statement that two ratios or rates are equal. It can be given as a sentence in words, but most often, a proportion is an algebraic equation. The arithmetic equation of 3 over 5 or 21 over 35 is a proportion because its across products are equal. So, 3 times 35 is equal to 105. Tw uh, 5 times 21 will also give us 105. So, therefore, they are proportion. Just remember that the answer should be the same. They are called proportion. Proportions are solved by using the cross product rule. Example number one, we have 4 over 9 is equal to x over 36. So we have 4 
times 36 is equal to x 9 or 9x. So 4 times 36 will give us 144 is equal to 9x. Let's check. So 9, uh, 144 divided by 9 is equal to x. Bring down the 9. So x is equal to 16. So proportion, proportion ba to? Yes, proportion yan. Apply proportion problems. Many problems can be solved by setting up a direct proportion. An increase in one quantity leads to proportional increase in the other quantity or by setting up equivalent rates. Example, in one day you earn $75 for 8 hours of work. If you work 37.5 or 37 hours for the week, what will be your weekly pay be? So, let us analyze. We have 8 hours is equal to 75. So, sa isang araw, meron siyang $75 sa loob ng 8 oras. So, we have 37.5 hours is equal to x. Ano yung x? Ito yung tinatanong. What will be your his weekly pay? Or how much is his weekly pay? So, yun ang hinahanap. Finding x. O, hindi ex-boyfriend, ha? Finding the value of x. Yung variable natin ay x. So, i-cross lang natin tong 8 at x. Then, i-cross din natin yung 75 times 37.5. So, 8x is equal to 2,812.5. Kasi minultiply natin yung 75 times 37.5. Okay. So, ibinaba natin yung 8. Ginawa natin siyang denominator. So, x is equal to 2,812.5 divided by 8. So, ang end result, ang final answer is x is equal to 351.56 dollar sa loob ng isang linggo o sa loob ng uh, 37.5 hours. Ito yung total number of hours na ipinagtrabaho niya sa loob ng isang linggo. Okay? For your learning task 1, solve the following problem given. How many minutes in 8 hours? How many seconds in 12 hours? How many hours in 1 week? And how many hours and minutes in 380 minutes? I will give you 30 seconds to think of your answers. Your timer starts now. Timer stops. So, number one, we have how many minutes in eight hours? For one hour, we have 60 minutes. So, eight times 60, eight hours times 60 will give us 480 minutes. Next, we have how many seconds in 12 hours? 60 seconds in 1 minute. And there are uh, 60 minutes in 1 hour. So, 60 minutes times 60 seconds 
times 12 hours will give us 4, uh, 43,200 seconds. Next, how many hours in one week? Oras. Ilang oras sa isang linggo? So, we have 24 hours in one day. So, it's 7 days in one week. Okay? So, 24 hours times 7 will give us 168 hours. And, how many uh, hours and minutes if you are given 380 minutes? So, what will you do here? You are going to, there is, there are uh, 60 minutes in one hour. Okay? So, the given is 380 divided by 60 minutes. 380 is the given minutes. You divide it by 60. That will give you an answer of 6 point, uh, 6.333. But we need to get the whole number as hours. So, it's going to be 6 hours and 20 minutes. The remainder um, will be 20. So, 380 minus 360, that will give you 20. That belongs to a uh, minute. For your learning task 2, find the ratio and the juice to lowest term. Macau milk tea has 75 different flavor of tea. And Emperor milk tea has 30 of the same type. From Macau Milk Tea, express the ratio of the item. Next, we have for every five trays of salted egg, Papa Steve sells 135 pieces in a week. What is the ratio of his total sales every week? Note, for every tray of egg, it contains 30 pieces. Okay? So, I will give you another 30 seconds to think of your answer. And your timer starts now. Time's up. Let's check. For number one, the ratio will be 75 over 30. But we can still reduce it. So, uh, we can divide it by 5. So, 75 divided by 5 will give us 15 over 6. For number two, so, we have uh, 30 pieces per tray. So, 30 times 5 will give you 150 over 135. Or, to reduce this to lowest form, uh, 150 and 135 can be divided by 5. So, it's going to be 30 over 27 which is still divisible by 3 pwede pa rin nating i-divide yung 30 and 27 by 3 so to the lowest term our final answer will be 10 over 9 because 30 divided by 3 will give us 10 and 27 divided by uh, 3 will give you 9. So, our final answer will be 10 over 9 or 10 to 10. Uh, 10 to 9. For 
learning task 3 find the rate of the following miss berna pay 1400 pesos for 122 mbps every month for her internet service from globe number one you have to express as rate and number two compute how much she pay for every m per mbps I will give you 10 seconds to think of your answer. <whistles> Timer stops. Okay. So, our answer will be, for number 1, will be 1,400 over 122. But we can still reduce 1,400 and 122. We can reduce it by dividing it by 2. Pareho naman silang even eh. 1,400 is even number and 122 is even number. So, we can still divide this by 2. If we're going to divide that by 2, our answer will be 700 over, one, uh, over 61. So, possible pa ba na ma-reduce ang 700? Yes, pero yung 61, hindi na possible kasi yung isa ay even, yung 700 ay even, and then yung 61 is odd. There's no possibility na pwede pa natin ma-reduce to. Now, to compute for... Uh, per day na MBPS, magkano yung babayaran ni Miss Berna? So, we have to divide 700 divided by 61, it will give you 11.47 per MBPS. So, ito yung binabayaran niya. Kada MBPS pala, nagbabayad siya ng 11.47. And that's all for today. But before I give you your uh, link to your online quiz or online activity for today, let me share a quote from Chinese or a Chinese proverb. Teachers can open the door, but you must enter it yourself. I hope you have learned something today. Have a good day. God bless you all.